Hello everybody. Um, this video is going to um, show you how to modify literally or hopefully literally any kind of plasma ball uh, that runs off of 12 volts. Uh, they make plasma balls that run off of uh, 5, 12, and I believe 24 volts. I have not come across any of the 24 volt um, versions yet. But boy, have I come across a, a slew of 12 volt versions of plasma balls. The intent of this video is to make um, plasma ball uh, rife type technology available to everyone and anyone throughout the world. I know that sounds a little bit illus uh, delusional, um, but this is such a simple fix to change a plasma motherboard. I have several kinds. I'm going to explain each one. This is going to be several videos um, all chopped up but they'll be linked together maybe I'll end up having four or five videos um, to explain this whole process um, okay let's let's just get started with I've stripped out the motherboards out of several different versions I have a six inch version here in my hand uh, that has been modified and is working I have a five inch version here uh, slightly smaller uh, doesn't look too much smaller but that's a five inch version um, I have a tower here. This is a tower. Let's see if I can aim the camera a little bit better so you can see the whole tower. This is a tower. And I haven't taken the board out of the tower yet, but they all have something in common. And that is they have a driving transistor right here. And this one has already had a mechanical uh, thermostat put on it um, to protect it from overheating. They have a transformer and then they have a whole bunch of circuitry that does two things and we only use one of those two things and that is it's got a um, onboard oscillator. Lots of stuff going on in there but believe me there's only three things that you need to know about this board and that is this transistor which happens to be a Darlington TIP uh, 122. That's a Darlington TIP 122. You can forget the word Darlington. It's a TIP 122. The transformer that takes uh, 12 volt pulses and brings them up to around 20, 25,000 uh, volt, uh, very low current pulses. And there's a chip on here, whether this is a surface mount or a dip like I'm pointing to right here that basically is the oscillator circuit and that oscillator circuit is nothing more than a couple of resistors a capacitor and a chip um, they generally have a mic circuit i've taken and removed the mic on this one um, the reason being is that the mic can interfere with um, using a plasma ball as a rife delivery device so i just removed the mic so it won't interfere now this is one style and you'll notice that there's some wires dangling off this already. I'm going to fire each one of these up and we're going to see the, um, the field that they generate on the oscilloscope. Uh, this one was wired manually. I mean, I actually went in, traced out the circuit and chopped up uh, the lens on the back. On the back. Wow, how complicated can that be, right? Well, it was a little bit complicated, but not very. And brought out these leads, which end up going to the switch and the phono plugs on the case that would be these guys the, the switches and the phono plugs now this happens to be one of my gating only uh, plasma balls but neither here nor there I had just done a, I just did a video on that so here we go that's one style this came out unplug it this came out of a plasma ball that was um, uh, sent to me from Australia I actually didn't get the plasma ball, I just got the circuit board. And the circuit board works, but it has the same deal. Only their transistor and there, it's a TIP-122, by the way, I'm pointing to it. It's on a heat sink. Very nice. And I have not put a thermal switch on this yet, but it's on a heat sink. And there's the transformer. And this little tiny circuit board does the um, onboard oscillator. Yeah, it's pretty focused. That, that tiny circuit board, and I'm going to be removing that mic like I remove it on all the uh, units I built now. Okay, and here's another version. But the same thing. 
I'm pointing to a tip 122, a transformer. Well, this looks like a heck of a transformer, doesn't it? I uh, can't wait to get this one up and running and modified. And there's that chip again and a little oscillator, and there's the mic. I'm going to remove the mic. Uh, now, I haven't taken this one off its board yet because they actually did something that really surprised me. They hardwired um, the transformer wire right into the bottom of the glass. So I'm going to have to clip that. But I'm going to show you. There we have, again, the same thing. We have the TIP-122 on a heat sink, and we have the transformer. And if I can get a good view of it, there. Now, how do I do that? How do they do that? There we go. There's the little circuit board that has an onboard um, oscillator, and it has the uh, mic detection circuit. I'm going to replace most of that. Did I bring one over here? Excuse me, I've got to reach over here and get a bag of parts. I'm going to replace all the electronics in some form or another with this little circuit board. With this little circuit board. This circuit board is um, on the website. It's been advertised on the website. Um, and this is going to become the heart of the plasma ball change. The diagrams are on the um, website, and um, I'm not sure if I put the mask on the website or not, but this is such a simple uh, circuit. You could hardwire this uh, just with little wires on a um, perforated circuit board if you wanted to. Once I finish with this video, I expect that people all around the world can make their own pl rice plasma balls. Um, I'm not in this for the money. I'm, in, uh, I'm doing this because <laughs> the Rife technology and the plasma Rife technology is unbelievably powerful. And everybody should have access to it. It's cheap. It's easy. You do not have to spend thousands of dollars to create a plasma system um, because we can buy these toys and modify them. Uh, there's some plans down the road, which I may talk about during this video, but uh, let's see if we can just get through teaching everybody or showing everybody how to modify a plasma ball. So with that, this I'm going to wind this up and uh, call this video one.